Caleb here, and in this video, I wanted to give a really helpful tip if you really feel like you are struggling over manifesting whatever it is that you choose to manifest. And it's something that has really helped me and I've come back to in my life multiple times, always with great results. It's just, you know, I'm a human like you guys, so, you know, I forget sometimes and I end up trying too hard. And the thing that I wanted to talk about actually was a lesson from Florence Scovel Shin, which was surrendering to the Christ within. Now, I'm using her words specifically. You don't have to say Christ. You can say the universe, infinite intelligence, Allah, you know, whatever, uh, you know, works off, works for you. But so I'm just going to use her, her words. But Surrendering to the Christ within or casting your burden away is something that's really powerful and I think that it would help a lot of you in whatever it is that you're manifesting right now. Whether it's resistance that feels like it's really difficult to work through, whether it's focusing work, whether it's noticing lack, it doesn't matter what it is. Maybe you're caught up on the when and the how. If you will just go silent and surrender or cast the burden on the Christ within and set yourself free, I'm telling you right now, I have done that in life, in my most struggling moments where I forgot, oh wait, I don't have to make this so hard. You know, no matter what it was, like if I was working on resistance, if it was anything really. And always amazing things happened. Now, I'm not going to sit here and promise you that surrendering your burden to the Christ within is a... Um, you know, it's a one size fits all. It'll solve all your problems. But I am telling you right now, it is something that is so helpful that when you really just feel lost, whatever the resistance is, even resistance about resistance, if you will just surrender it. And again, you can use whatever words you want. Cast the burden off of you and let the magic path of intuition take you to where you need to be. So if that means the right answers come to you at the right time or whatever it is that you need to do, it's a super, super, super helpful thing to do in manifesting. I remember before I manifested this house, um, there was a night right before I got the house and I knew for like nine or 10 days straight that I was trying way too hard, right? I was hyper-focusing too much. I was causing more resistance. And finally, there was this one night where I did exactly what Florence talked about, where I literally was just like, you know what? I'm going to cast this burden on the Christ within and set myself free. This is not my problem. You know, somehow, some way, things can work out for me. And it was so funny because I went to bed that night peaceful and slept good. And then I remember the very next day I woke up like maybe 15 minutes before my 15 minutes before I had woken up, my friend, um, she was a realtor friend, uh, was keeping an eye on these units for me if one opened up. And she texted me that next morning saying, hey, one of the units opened up. And along the way to getting the house, it was like another 10 day process. And during that 10 day process, a lot of stuff, unfolded. You know, lots of back and forth between the realtors. There wasn't good communication. It looked like I was going to get it. Then I wasn't going to get it. I was going to get it. Then I wasn't going to get it. And I always just came back to surrendering the burden and just setting myself free. Because you see, I think sometimes in manifesting, people get afraid of the idea of infinite intelligence because it's a resistance actually. They think that there's something out there that's choosing better for them. I don't think of it in that way that there's something out there that's denying your desire or saying you can't have something. I think of it as there's infinite intelligence, the higher part of you, your soul, your spirit, the universe within, the Christ within, whatever you want to call it, the Allah within. Um, it knows the way. It knows the path of least resistance to your manifestation. You know, it's like that funny song. Um, it's that song that has all those memes. The Jesus take the wheel song. Kind of like the same thing where it's just like, wait, I don't have to take the when and the how I'm going to figure this all out as a burden upon myself. So I can just cast this onto infinite intelligence, the universe, because it knows what I want. And, you know surrender the burden and set myself free. 
And so I really wanted you know, to talk about that in this video, just a quick video. And just a quick FYI, I don't know if any of y'all are interested in this, but when I was trying to record this video, I had to re-record it a few times because a couple of times it sounded like there was like food in my throat. And I swear I sounded like Cerberus Snape from Harry Potter. Like it was, it was like this. Welcome to Potions class. Turn your textbooks to pages 494. Literally what it sounded like. It was crazy. It was like I was just speaking normal and then it just went straight into server of Snape. So I was like, whatever. Just figure I'd let y'all know about that. But yeah, it's if any of you right now feel lost or upset, whatever it is, maybe you're puzzled over the when and the how, the absence of something, impatience, or even resistance, right? You're building resistance towards working on your resistance. Surrendering to the Christ within the universe, whatever you want to call it, and, and so surrendering the burden and setting yourself free, because it's not your job to figure it out, let it be taken care of for you, is super helpful, and it's a huge game changer. I've even done it too when I've been doing resistance work. If I've worked too hard, like trying too hard to puzzle out resistance and work ahead of time, I've literally just surrendered it, the burden, and then the answers came to me that I needed very quickly. So again, you know, I'm not going to promise that this is something that's going to be, you know, it's going to be the only thing in life that you need, but it is something that's super helpful. So I just kind of wanted to give that message of inspiration because I just, I know what it's like when you're just really struggling sometimes and you feel like you're left behind in life or why don't I seem to get it or what's going on. It's in those moments, literally, you have nothing to lose. Just surrender the burden to whatever you want to call it and just set yourself free and just watch. Every time you think of that burden, it's okay. Just keep surrendering it and let the answers come to you.